life. I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are gonna go over what seam allowance is. Everyone's always asking me, what is seam allowance? Because I'll be talking about the seam allowance, turning it this way, turning it that way, ironing it open. So the question is, what is seam allowance? If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and following me on my sewing adventures. Also, I now teach sewing classes in person in my studio in Chicago, Illinois, and virtually, so make sure you check them out at SewingAnastasia.com. Seam allowance is that little extra bit of fabric that's from the seam line to the edge of your fabric, and this amount can vary. It could be an eighth of an inch, it could be a quarter of an inch, it could be a half of an inch, it could be five-eighths of an inch, it could be an inch, you get the point. It could be any width, but the seam allowance is that little piece of fabric that's from your seam line all the way to the edge of your fabric. So let's take a look at a few garments I have here and check out their seam allowance and then we'll also sew a seam and show you the seam allowance on the sewing machine. So my seam allowance is this little area here from the seam all the way to the edge of the fabric. And these edges are surged but that doesn't change anything. This here is still the seam allowance. So I've got two pieces of fabric that are sewn together and if I open them up this here is the seam allowance on both pieces. So here's another example of seam allowance. The seam is where the stitch is, and now all the extra fabric over to the edge is the seam allowance. So if you're sewing a project and it says you need a quarter inch seam allowance, that means you're gonna have a quarter inch of fabric from the stitch all the way to the edge of your fabric. There's also a handy little tool called the seam gauge, and you can use this to measure your seam allowance to double check it on your projects to see how wide your seam allowances are. So let's take a look at how it works. So we're gonna take the seam gauge and we're gonna place the edge of it at the seam and then we take this little blue piece and we move it down to the edge of the fabric. So it looks like the seam allowance on this dress is about a half of an inch. I have two pieces of fabric right sides together and I'm going to create a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So let's do it. You should have some measurements on the plate of your machine. This is for your seam allowance. So it's telling you how wide your seams are gonna be when your needle is positioned at the center. So we have all the way up to two and a half inches on this sewing machine here. And if you didn't have any guides here, and let's say you wanted to sew an inch seam, and you could take your seam gauge and put it at the center of where your needle is and then you know exactly where you need to line it up on your machine to get that one inch seam allowance. Another great thing you can do is take a piece of tape and go ahead and just put a piece of masking tape on your sewing machine and then you can use that as a guide as you're sewing to keep your seam allowances even. So let's go ahead and sew this up at 5 eighths. I'm lining up the edge of my fabric with the 5 eighths and we're going to create a seam. <laughs> is all this extra fabric here from the stitching line over to the edge of the fabric. And if we measure it, it's 5 eighths. So now you know what seam allowance is if someone's talking about it. They're opening it, they're flipping it a direction, they're clipping it, and you're like, what is the seam allowance? Now you should know what the seam allowance is and you know that it can differ in sizes. It's not always one consistent size. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. If you have any questions on what seam allowance is, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below about seam allowance. Also, I would love to see your project, so make sure you tag me at Sewing Anastasia so that way I can repost them on Instagram and all the other fabulous social media websites. And let's stay connected. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Pinterest and Instagram and, well, YouTube. So if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to Sewing Anastasia. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.